sorry if I uh, make you repeat yourself as well. No, I'm sorry. That's, that's what I do. <laughs> for me especially, you've been a real big inspiration this year for so many people, right? I'm just wondering, are you aware of the footprint you've left this year with people around the world? And if so, what type of drive does that leave you with for 2021? Listen, I'm always driven to, 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 to take the sport to the next level and, and, and build the brand and make the biggest fights we can possibly make. That's no different. This year was different because um, of all the you know obstacles and hurdles we had to overcome. And um, not just that, the negativity and the people who were coming after us and trying to stop us from moving forward. So, um, but, I, but I love that shit at the same time. So... Um, it wasn't it wasn't that bad of a year for me it was kind of fun yeah likewise um what did you make of the event today obviously the figueredo fight was insane um do you think that rival was like zhang wei li and joanna for like a contender of fight of the year i thought that this uh card was a great card to end the year and uh it over delivered tonight it, it, it exceeded my expectations and the main event people are saying is the best fight ever in the div division's history so yeah, I love it. Me too. Charles Oliveira as well, man. Jesus Christ, nearly snapped off Tony's arm there. Got an incredible win. But what do you think are the next logical steps for Charles? Well, Tuesday, the rankings come out. We'll see where the media ranks him, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Listen, this, this guy proved tonight he can fight anybody in the world. Mm -hmm. He is a dangerous dude, and uh, he has the potential to be a world champion. He proved it tonight. Yeah, and we're seeing Conor McGregor return in 2021. What do you what do you think that does for the sport? We're gonna see how these fights play out. See where this kid gets ranked. Uh, trying to get a fight for Chandler too, and uh, you know, 2021's shaping up to be really, really good. Yeah. Uh, just to end it, uh, Dana, the whole Howlerhead thing. I'm really interested. In. I love the branding. I think it's so cool. I'm wondering how it started. Thank you. Uh, so I, uh, I fell in love with it during the pandemic. You know, we had like six weeks where we didn't work uh, the UFC, right? Was it six weeks? Yeah, like six weeks. So I, you know, listen, I got a really nice house and uh, I, uh, I, I got a pool with a bar and all that stuff. So I had bartenders and I was drinking. So I got into the Howlerhead and uh, I ended up reaching out to those guys and, uh, and talking to them and we hit it off and, and uh, now we're doing stuff together, so. That's very cool, man. If there's yeah. any, any any ever spare, you'll have to slide me one under the table. I got you one, yeah, 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 let's do it. Let me hook you up before you leave here tonight. I'd love to, man. Thank done. you so much, Danny. All right. You're the man. Thank you for all your time and everything you've done for the sport and me. Thank you, sir.